Hello, my Photonauts, Jose here. Welcome to this video. Today, I will be replacing, changing the background of this photograph. Okay, guys, welcome back. Thank you again for stopping by. If you like the video, like the channel, please subscribe and hit the like button. And also, I want to let you guys know that I have an affiliate link of Luminar Neo in the description. If you want to purchase the program, I will get a commission that will help me just to keep on creating content for you guys. So let's go to replace or change the background of this photograph. Okay, as I've said before, there should be a planning in replacing the background. It's not just replacing the background because I want to. You know, you might want to change the scene. You want might you want might want to isolate the 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 subject. But there are certain things of the picture you need to take into account. First of all, the light. Where the light is coming. In this photograph, I have a you know kind of a light coming from behind. This light in the front. So and it seems to be kind of a snowy, cold kind of winter uh, type of image maybe the background background was replaced on this photograph i didn't shoot this one i took it from uh from a stock photography that can you can use for free but i will try to change this uh background to something similar but that looks more into uh um winter so first things first so the background you have to study you have to select the background uh, try to have the background matching the light pattern and also the tone, right? So, with that said, let's go into replacing the background. If you have seen my videos before, replacing, I mean changing, removing the background for the photograph using Luminar Neo is really easy. You, you only need to open the photograph. You have to go to Layer Properties here on the right and click on Masking. And then it will show these options and then you go to portrait background when you click on portrait background artificial intelligence will start working let me click on that part okay it seems that it seems that uh, uh, the AI already scanned the image so I would probably just not when that probably I would need to click on remove to let the AI work and remove the background so we click and remove now. Okay, the background is removed. I think it had done a good job. This part here is really uh, difficult, but I, I think I will leave it this way. I can always go back and try to refine it, fine tune it. So the next step right now is to bring the background I want to use in this photograph, okay? So the way to do that is just to add a, a layer, a layer that has your background. So how you add that layer, you go to the layer section on the left, you click on the plus button, and then it will show you, show you these options. Your images will show in here. If you don't have uh, I mean, if, if your background is not in this by images uh, section, you will need to click on the plus button and then look for your image. And then when the image is imported, just click on the photograph or the background, and then it will bring in, bring that layer into your uh, editing part. I already have the layer. I mean, the, the background I want to use, I want to use this one here. So I would just click on it and then boom it's done it's there right the next thing i would thing i will do is, is increase the opacity to 100 percent and then change the order i will bring the the subject on top and leave the background there so this is already looking good right i really like it it's different right uh but i think the subject needs some fine tuning or probably the background you decide if I want to look this more wintry type of thing, I would probably need to keep the background the way it is and then just, you know, change the color, the tone of uh, the subject. And I will start doing that. So the first thing I will do with a subject is change the tone of the, I mean, the light and the white balance and saturation. So the way to go about it is I will go to the essential section of Luminar Neo click on develop 
And then in here, we'll look for two things. The first one is the color section, okay? Over here, the temperature, I will probably put it a little bit more colder, like this, right? I will add a little bit of tint toward this area. And then I will desaturate the image a little bit, like that. Probably reduce the highlights a little bit and exposure as well. All right, I will do this this way. Okay, probably it's too cold. I will go to the more to the right side, like there. And I think I have to change what I did already, like there. Vibrance. I think it's okay. Okay, one more thing I will probably uh, test on this part is to, um, when, I, when I am done with the, the toning, probably I will want to blur the background a little bit. But to blur the background, we have to do something different, okay? So now I think the picture is fine. I, I don't think I will add more stuff to this. I think that, I think it's okay. The background is well integrated. Um, it's, I, I like it. I would probably add a vignette, an overall vignette to this, but I cannot do it here because I don't have an option to flatten, you know, to merge these two images into one. So the way to go about it is just to save it as a different file, reopen it, and then you can keep on, uh, um, you know, readjusting now the new photograph with the new background in it. So I, I invite you guys to explore if you want to change, play, play with a, with a subject, with a background, probably I will go back to the background, a layer, and then <clears throat> go to the develop mode and probably go more yellow, more crazy here like this, lower the temperature a little bit, uh, more this color, this color, you, you decide. I think this one is matching fine there. So it's just a matter of testing. Is, I'm doing it this way because I think I did a good job trying to find a background that will help me integrate the entire photograph, okay? So the last thing I will do is just, I will export this image, right, this photograph into a folder. I will name it a change background <clears throat> one. I'm using a TIFF file just to work internally. If I were to use it for something else, internet, I will export it as a JPEG. But in this case, I'm, I'm using a TIFF file. So I will go to catalog and then there's my picture. Where is it? The one that has the, this little icons in here is the one, the original one I did. This one with no icons is the new one. So I want to open this one. And in here, I will add a vignette. I will check the vignette. I don't want the subject to be uh, ch uh, chosen, so I will add the vignette, go to the left, go to the left, go to the left, probably there, the size, I think it's there, feather it a little bit more, inner light, I don't need, need it, so there you go, the subject is really standing out, all right, let's say for example that I don't want to use the vignette, I want to blur the background a little bit more, going here. You, you go to the options, right? You go to the options, the essential options that you have, the creative, feeling great. Oh, you will try to find the part. I mean, you find the the um, the module that does that for you guys. Okay. So where is it? Typically is under the creative part, but I moved them all to the favorite side. So over here it says portrait bokeh. So I will click on that part. Now it's scanning the image, the image, the photograph, trying to find the separated subject. And then I will probably start using this slider here and apply the amount of, of bokeh. You see, there's bokeh. Okay, I think it's, it's okay. If you put the mouse over the subject, you see that it's in there. So if you like it that way, go ahead, be my guest. So. Just recapping what I did, I first separated the background from the from the subject, then bring in the background. Then after I brought in the background, I played with the sliders and tried to match the color and tone of the subject to the background. 
when I was happy with that, I also did some adjustments in the background and then I exported, saved the image as a TIFF file, then reopen it again to apply vignettes or to apply background, I mean, portrait bokeh or any other effect. Once you're happy with that, the only thing you need to do is just to export this photograph to whatever format you need and to start using it. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you like it. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and remember that you have the link of Luminar Neo. It's an affiliate link. If you want to purchase the program, I will get a commission. Thanks again, guys, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.